Hey Alex! So you already know that I spent most of this week reading and obsessing over a book called Hero the Ninth, so I feel like most of what I've done this week is just like look up the definitions of words I don't know. I thought I'd just give you a snapshot of things I learned this week, uh, just, just, just via looking them up on Google. Maybe talking about them will help me actually retain those definitions. Maybe you'll learn a word. Maybe you won't. Oh well, here we go. Antipathy, aversion or dislike. Next we have adulterate, to taint or contaminate by mixing a usually inferior substance with a relatively higher quality substance. Besetting, which means persistently troubling. Cicatrix, which is another word for scar. Cenarius, which means ash gray. Deliquescent, which means uh, tending to liquefy or becoming liquid. Execrable, which means extremely bad or unpleasant. Frangible, which means fragile or brittle. And that's a real example of a word that sounds like what it means. Obstreperous, noisy or hard to control. Sobriquet, a nickname like syntax or anteater. Tergiversation, which is desertion of something like a cause or a position. So rejecting an old belief. Viscous, this is a kind of generic word for any internal organ found in your chest or abdomen. This is actually the singular of viscera, which I was really surprised by, but I suppose shouldn't have been. But still, I feel like that's a word I've only heard in the plural. So those are some of the words that I learned this week. I feel a little bit like I was studying for some kind of vocabulary test. I was just trying to like piece together this terrible, weird, gross book. I really tried to tone down the grossness of the overall list of words I had to look up, but, but that's... That's not because I've decided to totally spare you from the grossness, because another really, really weird thing I learned this week is about, can I say this word right? Anthropodermic bibliopegy, <laughs> which is the practice of binding books in human skin. I know, I know, I know, super gross. But like, linguistically speaking, what's weird about this, other than the fact that everything is weird about this, is that both words, anthropodermic and bibliopegy, don't, don't really appear in other contexts besides human skin bookbinding, which, I mean, I guess you don't necessarily need a word that means human skin a lot, and we have a more common word for bookbinding, but it's still, like, wild to me that we have these just, like, highly specific terms. I love language. And this isn't a vocabulary thing, but a fun fact that I did not know is that most of the books that we've confirmed have actually been found in human skin that still exist, exist in America, and one of them's even owned by a public library in Ohio. A public library. It, I can't even imagine. I will cut off there before things get grosser. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, rapid-fire burst of fun facts. It's, it's what I've got. <laughs> Oh, hang in there, Alex. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you soon. Bye, friend.